you're very welcome back. Now, magnolia plants, as Alan is holding, you might see there them. They're known for their pretty pink flowers, but there's much more than meets the eye. Yes, here to show us all the hidden uses, it's Forager Phoebe Foreign. Good morning to you, Phoebe. Morning. How are you? How are you? So tell us about the magnolia plant then. Oh, this guy here has been around for a long time. Actually, yeah. it's believed to be the earliest flowering plant in the history of the world. Really? So go, they, they found fossils dating back to 100 million years ago. Okay. Before even bumblebees. So these guys were pollinated by beetles. So did they come out before like even snowdrops and way, stuff? Way before all that. Right. Way, so Where these did that guys, come from snowdrops? I, know, I thought <laughs> snowdrops are kind of the early one, aren't they? they don't they? Like, I'm, well, like, early, in, early in spring, yes. But this is going back millions of years. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking of my own garden. Oh, okay. right. I have so, a snowdrop. This is coming back. So they're, they're very, very old. As I said, before <laughs> even bees existed. So they were pollinated by beetles. So they don't throw out any nectar, but they throw out lots and lots of pollen for the bees to feed, so for the beetles to feed. Where would you okay. kind of find these apart from people's gardens? Well, these guys are not a, they're not a native plant to here in okay. Ireland. They were brought so over. you have to have planted them. Yeah, yeah they were okay. brought over from East Asia a long, long time ago, but you find them okay. all over the place, dotted in people's gardens. They're very ornamental looking. And they are, yeah, gorgeous. But there's a lot more to them than okay, just so that beautiful. Okay, so what do you use them for? I was going to say, yes, there's, you're here to yeah. tell us about you. <laughs> no, it's not about them looking pretty. Well, what can they there's use heaps, are heaps of uses. One thing that I do at Magnolia every year, they're short flowering plants, so yeah. I would like to make the most of them while they're here. How long so, do they flower for? Uh, only a couple of weeks. So, oh, okay. so we, like we'll, cherry blossoms. Yeah, yeah. We're, then we're they're kinda, gone. We'll start to come to the tail end of them. So if you still have these in your garden, this is a lovely one to do. I always pickle them. And that means that you get to keep them. These so petals, they are edible? These petals are fully edible. So I can, we can eat these? Yes. They're fully, and they're kind of meaty. Now, please don't spit it out. They're lovely. They have a bit of a card money gingery kind of a taste. Some people get a bit of a cucumber oh, vibe yeah. to them. You can get that at the end. Bit of a flavour to yeah, them. Yeah. So, <laughs> Good crunch I can tell them. by your face you're getting that lovely flavour. Don't flavor be spitting that out Come now. Come on, swallow. Uh, swallow, Fine. swallow it. So, easy... <laughs> Sorry. Easy way to pickle these is to, because you can actually use this like, um, if, if people use uh, pickled ginger on their sushi or they put pickles on their burgers, you can do the exact same thing okay. with these. Right, easy way to do it. You're going to add your vinegar. Mm -hmm. Right, into a pot. <laughs> We've lost Tommy. Add your vinegar oh, to a pot. So this is how you pickle. This is how you create so a pickle brine. Yeah. This is a pickle brine, right? Add your vinegar in, a bit of salt, mm -hmm. a bit of sugar, right. yeah, and then just let it simmer, right? Until And you're going to just get, let it simmer until they dissolve. That's all, right? <laughs> and then and then to make the pickle taste nice. Uh, but when, when do you add in the flowers? I'm going to show you now. All oh, right. Okay. It's my, yeah, so right. what you do next is then you're going to add into your jar. So you have your nice clean jar and you're going to add in the pickling things that you might like. So I would always add in the likes of like two two cloves of garlic right. into it. Okay. I might add in some black pepper right. into mm -hmm. it as well. Some star anise. Okay. And then the flowers. And then the flowers. How many would you put in? So I would say about 20 leaves can go in. Oh, 20 uh, leaves. How 20 many leaves would be on this? 20 How this? many leaves would be you on a plant? You guys add that in. There's about, about five or six. Okay. So you can chuck them all in there, right? And you're saying now that wait till it becomes when it's starting to fall off. Yeah, because like, well, you, you want, want to, enjoy to enjoy them. them. Yeah. yeah, they're and so what, beautiful. What, so what are you going to do with the pickled magnolia plants? Okay. Okay. Leaves. So, eat them. so you eat them. So like, as I said, if you were having sushi, if you ever had like pickled ginger on your sushi, um, if you're having pickles, now you are... Come on, Tommy. A, a tiny leaf, <laughs> on, please. You don't eat, please don't eat all that. <laughs> no, good. One Go tiny on. leaf. Take a bit. <laughs> One tiny Hold leaf. On. Here, right. take that on the spoon. A little bit goes a long way right. with that. See, pickle, oh. like a pickled onion or like something. Like a pickled onion, and then like is that good for you? Yeah, really good. Like for in you. what Why? way? So these guys here are full of antioxidants and anti-inflammatories. They are fantastic for the likes of gingivitis, any kind of mouth ulcers, any kind of bacteria in the mouth stops you getting cavities. Um, oh, if, right. yeah, they've also been linked all the way through like uh, Chinese medical uh, medicine for helping people with diabetes, Alzheimer's. I think that's conditions. not bad. I, okay. I'm quite Pickled, nice. Yeah. Well, now, well. if you have any of these, you have to go to your doctor and make of sure course, you do that. Like, these are, th we're not saying that these will actually help these. What's with or the frozen ones? Sorry, these guys here, ask? if you oh. freeze them, you actually get much more stronger of that flavour, that gingery flavour out okay. of them. So what I do is once I pick the little buds when they're in the cone So this has just been put into the freezer? Yeah, yeah. And that what you'll do is you can grate that 
<laughs> they've, got, they've kind of got a bit soft like, now. Uh, under but the lights. Under the lights. But you can you can grate them over the likes of oh, your yeah. porridge, oh, over nice. your... You can even do that over your stir fries and your curries and stuff like that and add a gingery well, so kind of just, a kick. yeah. And so put it into you won't taste it even in that. Well, you'll get a gingery kick to it. You can have a taste of that there now, Tommy. Get a ginger. I'm like the guinea pig, yeah, aren't yeah. I? Are you getting a gingery you, kick there? Because you don't spit it out, you see. <laughs> So Fine, it tastes the old one. Yeah, no, it's strong enough, actually. That oh, you get it. Stronger. You get it much stronger when they're frozen. Yeah. And then the other way to do it, if you did just want to use it for, like, a mouthwash for the likes of, um, for gingivitis or for mouth ulcers, that kind of thing, you just make it as a tea. So how do you do that, then? Is you so just put them in... a few of the petals go into your tea, into your, into your teapot. Boiling water. A little water. strainer. Boiling water. Is that it? That's it. And I always add just a little bit of lemon because it's that, like, nature's cleanser as well. And you can then, you can either just switch it around in your mouth the way that you would with a with a mouthwash or you can just drink it what well, you're saying if you have mouth ulcers yeah. it's very good really, they're terribly really, sorry you really have really, really good. terribly really sore mouth ulcers because it's an anti-inflammatory it's going to take that you know the, the heaviness out of it it'll help to reduce it down but and did you put the frozen ones in there now no or just fresh petals ones? just because the petals. frozen ones are much stronger much stronger yeah they yeah, are much stronger. why is that it just if, when when they freeze it just brings out that flavor oh, so much okay. more but if you can see the difference mm. of how it changes. And it. would you not add, would you add like cloves or kind oh, of anything like 100%. that too? That's what you absolutely could. Like I, when I make it, sometimes I'll add ginger to it. Yeah. I'll add like that star anise gives a gorgeous mm. flavor to it. Cinnamon sticks as well. You can add all those lovely yeah. natural ones into it. Just to, whatever your 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 taste is when you like a, a herbal tea. Same kind of thing. But so you when, can switch when that you around. pick them, like I know you're letting us taste them there. I wasn't mad about it. Would you actually just? Chew, chew I, away I, I on them. I have been known to walk by and just munch a magnolia. <laughs> really? <laughs> you pick it off the tree? Yeah, and just munch it. Yeah. And eat it. Yeah, Is that right. safe? Yes. Well, like if you think about it, Instead they're quite a... high up off the ground. So oh, you're yes. not going to have passing animals peeing on them or anything like that. Yeah. So they, they're they actually kind of... They're, they're, and they're you'd be totally kind of thinking like a fancy a, a biscuit here, have but have instead I'm going to have... I'll have a magnolia. <laughs> <laughs> What's instead your favourite? Instead of a Marietta, a magnolia. Have you a favourite tree that you like to grab to take a bite out of? Hawthorn. I love hawthorn flowers and right. hawthorn leaves. They'd be well, we have, next yeah. time you have to we'll do hawthorn. We'll talk about them so. again. So lots of lots of different things that you can do with, with a magnolia. Yeah, just look at them a little bit differently yeah they're, they're well, not, that's what you always hear for and, and getting us to learn about this thing get out and forage and make i like things. the tea Do you? yeah uh, the tea is actually quite phoebe nice thank you, Foran, so thank you so much thank you that. so great. much uh, that's all we have time for today Moran, what have we got coming up tomorrow